The politics of art is bullshit. And I am not sticking to any of the rules because, you know, when you make things, for as many years as I've been making them, you're inevitably going to come up with, hopefully, hopefully, new ideas. You know, the people who stay in there, how would you like to paint the same sort of kind of picture for the rest of your life? God. If you think of yourself in 20 years, where do you want to be? Right where you are now? Not even maybe. I've actually been extremely lucky because in the last couple of years, I, have for some reason, had, a, had a, a mental change and I wanted to really observe my environment. Instead of taking it for granted, I have been spending a lot of time, which I always do anyway, at my farm in Pemberton. So I wander around in the bush looking at ice and snow and streams of freezing and melting and crashing and sort of overlapping and very sculptural and very beautiful. And so I thought that it would be, and this sort of sounds preachy in a way, but I thought that we as Canadians should really slow down and appreciate what we have because we live in the most luxurious, fabulous world that is free for anyone to look at if they choose to look. You know, sometimes you, you, people are all, it's not fair. You know, life isn't fair. I didn't get anything, you know. How did you get to be successful? I worked. <laughs> and I've had lots of failures. That's life. You know, and that's good. Because you learn from everything. And it's because I, I look, and maybe two years later, I'll regurgitate that concept in something that I don't even remember looking at. Because when you're growing and learning and moving on, it's so exciting because every day has a new challenge and uh, it's, to me, fabulous because am I ever bored? No? <laughs> if you do one piece of art and that one piece of art, be it resin on steel, be it a sculpture, a 3D or you know, steel and resin or whatever, and you manage to stop one person for them to think about the beauty of our environment or how lucky they are or whatever it is that they choose to think, and you had an impact on them, then you were successful as an artist. Just one person. I think it's really up to every human being to, to move on and grow in their life and um, take risks and I'm doing what I want to do. I'm not doing this for any reason other than I believe in it and I'm committed to it and it's very exciting for me. And when I'm working and what I'm doing now, it's just it just makes me so happy. Hi, my name is Martha Varco Sturdy and I am a creative person and an artist.